Hello and welcome children to your recording class, class 2. As I have finished with chapter 4, in, uh, in my last PDF I have sent you the question answers of chapter 4. So today I am going to start a new chapter, chapter 5. Okay, now you can open your book page number 42 while watching this video. Alright, so our chapter number 5 is, the topic is mouse. Children, I believe you all know what is a mouse, isn't it? And input device. But here it's saying input device. So what mouse is? It is a computer mouse. We are going to learn about a computer mouse. Okay. There are two kinds of mouse. One is a real mouse and one is a computer mouse. So here we are going to learn about computer mouse and we call it an input device. Why do we call it an input device? Because as I have already told you, there are two types of things, input device and output devices. Input means inside. Whatever helps you to work inside the computer is known as an input device. And device means machine. Input means inside. Input means inside and device machine all right input means inside whatever devices whichever machine help us to work inside the computer is known as an input device and device means machine you have to keep in mind so let's start the chapter now i'm going to read it for you a mouse is an important part of a computer it is an input device it is small in size and look Looks somewhat like a real mouse, a rod. It is connected to a CPU cabinet through a wire. A mouse helps you to do the following. Play games, draw pictures, point and select item, open a program. Now children, as I have already told you, there are four important parts of a computer. Monitor, CPU, keyboard and the mouse. Okay, so mouse is an important part of a computer system. Alright, why we call it a mouse? This device is known as a mouse. Why do we call it a mouse? Because it is shaped as a real mouse. Okay, it looks like a real mouse. A rodent. Rodent means a small animal such as mouse, squirrels, okay, which are very small in the size but very sharp, okay. And these mouse has a wire, a long wire. Wire means this. This is known as a wire. This is not a, a mouse wire but this kind of thing is known as a wire. So this mouse with the help of a wire is connected to the CPU. So it has a body so like a mouse. It has a body like a mouse. A device which has a body like a mouse and it has a long wire connected to the CPU which looks like a tail of a mouse. And what does it do? It helps you to select, uh, play games children now as it is uh, lockdown time. You are not coming to school, maybe you are uh, using your time in playing games in your computer. So what helps you to play game in a computer? That is your mouse. You can draw pictures, you are doing your work in the computer. Again, mouse is helping you to do your work in a computer. You can easily make drawings in a computer with the help of a mouse. Point and select item. You can also like I am pointing here with the help of a pencil. But this I cannot do in a computer. I can do it with the help of a mouse because when mouse is connected to the CPU, CPU is again connected to the monitor. So when you move the mouse on the table, you'll see an arrow. An arrow. Okay. You'll see this arrow this arrow moves inside the screen okay this arrow is connected with this mouse so when you move the mouse on the table you'll see this arrow inside the screen will move inside the 
screen monitor and it will help you to work inside the monitor screen so that's why it is known as an input device so if you have, want to open any program like paint powerpoint excel anything you want to open this pointer will help you to work inside the monitor screen and this mouse on the table when you move it on the table it will help this arrow to move inside the screen all right so this is the introduction part let's come to the parts of a mouse a computer mouse has two buttons and a scroll wheel the two buttons are called right and left mouse buttons these buttons can perform various mouse actions the scroll wheel is used to move the move a page up and down on the screen this action is known as scrolling a wire attached to the mouse connects it to uh, to the cpu box now this is the feature of a mouse okay children can you see there are two buttons left button and the right mouse button all right these you need to press these two buttons to make your mouse perform all right so these two are left and right buttons mouse buttons and in between there is a wheel okay there is a wheel which is known as scroll wheel these scroll wheel help inside the monitor to move the page up and down it helps to move the page inside the monitor up and down okay and as i have already told you there is a long wire connected to the cpu which looks like a tail it helps to get connected with the uh, cpu or and with the monitor okay then comes nowadays wireless mouse is also available it is a type of mouse that does not have a connecting wire now children as the time has become very advanced now uh, we don't need this wire connected to the um, cpu okay we have we get in the market wireless mouse there is no wire but it can perform you can uh, with the bluetooth you can connect it with your computer system and you can use it okay anywhere in your computer or in with your laptop some computer mouse has men uh, have three buttons instead of two children some computer mouse have three buttons left right and middle button in place of the scroll wheel you can see a, a button only center button which is known as a center button okay mouse pad mouse pad is a, <coughs> is a flat pad on which a mouse is placed it helps the mouse to work smoothly now children we cannot keep the mouse on the table okay we need a mouse pad all right a pad which is made up of a rubber if you keep the mouse on the mouse pad your mouse moves very smoothly inside the screen there will be no disturbance if you put it on directly on the table then there will be some this uh, like uh, disturbance coming okay some uh, like it might get hanged or something happens so always use your mouse on the mouse pad then that is called your mouse pad mouse pointer have you noticed a tiny slanting arrow on the monitor this arrow is called the pointer it moves on the screen as you move the mouse on the mouse pad notice that it moves in the same direction as of a mouse this pointer helps you to point select and draw on the computer thus a mouse is also known as a pointing device now children as i have already told you when you move the mouse on the table you'll see a pointer which is known as an arrow or you can also call it a mouse pointer an arrow or you can call it a mouse pointer when you move the mouse on the table you, you will see this arrow also moves in different direction okay this arrow also moves in the different direction so that's why it is also known as a mouse pointer with the help of this pointer you can draw you can play games you can select programs in the computer 
you can color your work and you can do lots and lots of work with the help of this mouse pointer because inside we cannot touch directly so we need something which help us to work inside the monitor and that is a mouse pointer all right i believe it is clear to you all now we'll go to the next point that is types of a mouse there are varieties of mouse found in the market and there are mainly two types of computer mouse mechanical mouse these type of mouse has a roller or a ball rubber or metal in under side the mouse pointer moves on the screen with the help of this ball or a roller this type of mouse is called a ma ball mouse this type of mouse is rarely used these days now children it is given in the book also and i am going to show you here mouse mechanical mouse when you turn the mouse upside down okay when you turn the mouse upside down you'll see a hole okay it is covered with the cover <coughs> but inside the mouse there is a small ball okay it's a, it can be a rubber ball or a metal ball this ball usually helps to move the cursor inside the screen okay actually this ball is the one which helps to move the cursor inside the screen but nowadays we don't get this kind of mechanical uh, mouse usually we nowadays we use optical mouse so because of this also we need a mouse pad to keep the mouse on the table because when we move the mouse on the table this ball inside the mouse moves and helps the cursor to moves inside the screen okay so because it is on the soft surface it will move softly all right so now as we use optical mouse this type of mouse uses a laser or led light it plays a ball to indicate the movement of the mouse pointer now children as i have told you if you turn up turn uh, upside down if you make it ulta you'll see a ball inside there but now in the mechanical uh, mouse but now as i am telling you we are not using this kind of mouse we use optical mouse as the time has changed and the advanced mouse has come there is a laser light inside it if you check your mouse at your house there is a light glowing when you switch on the computer automatically after switching on the cpu your mouse get started okay i'll show you children if you can see look here this is an optical mouse there is a light there is no ball inside there there is a led light which help to move the cursor inside the screen i think you can see this and you can check it out at your home if you have mouse and computer system at your house so these are the two types of mouse found in market all right now the next topic is holding a mouse now how you are going to hold a mouse Let us quickly recap how to hold a mouse with right hand. Follow the steps given below. Place the index finger on the left button. Use this index finger to scroll the wheel as well. Place the middle finger on the right button. Hold the left side of the mouse with the thumb. Hold the ring finger and little finger on the right side of the mouse. Children, in the class, I always used to teach you how to hold a mouse. You have to do your hand like this. Okay? These two fingers will help you to press the left and right buttons. Okay? Your uh, your index finger and the middle finger <coughs> will help you to press two buttons. And your thumb and the rest two. small uh, like uh, ring finger and the uh, sm your small finger will help you to grip the mouse so this is the way how you place you will do your hand first like this and hold the mouse now the next is mouse button actions the act of pressing and releasing the mouse button creates a click sound 
Mouse buttons are used to perform the following clicking actions. Click. Clicking, right clicking, double clicking, dragging and dropping. So there are some um, actions. When we press the mouse button in the left side, when we press the left mouse button once and the left side, left mouse button, we call it click. It makes a sound. Click. So we call it clicking. Okay. Then we right side we can press with the uh, middle finger. This again it makes a sound click. So we call it right clicking. Then if you press the button, any of the left or right buttons twice, one, two, this is called double clicking and dragging and dropping. Again you are holding the mouse and you are pulling the mouse up, or sorry down or taking it up. This is called dragging and dropping. All right. The last uh, we'll do today is the topic of clicking. Today we'll do till here. Clicking means pressing the left mouse button once. It is also known as click. This action is used to select an object on the screen. Let us try the clicking action. Place the, place the pointer over an object on the screen. Here we have placed the pointer on this PC icon. Press the left mouse button once. Release the mouse button. Notice the object is selected. The selected object is highlighted. Now children as I have told you you can hold the mouse, move the mouse on the table and see this arrow will move inside the screen. Okay. So you can try at home in presence of your elder. Keep your elder brother or sister or mother or father in front of you while using the computer system. Okay. You can hold the mouse, move the mouse around on the table and press the, keep it on a uh, program on the desktop and just press the left mouse button once. It will make a sound click. That means you have clicked. Okay, it is called clicking. And when you release your finger, when you move your finger from the mouse button, you will see that particular program is changing the color. It's changed the color. So that is called selected. Okay, so in this way you can select your program in the computer. Alright, so we'll do till here children best in the next class. We'll continue with the rest of the topics. So till then please go through your book. Thank you.